Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture reading for October 21st, which is Ephesians 2.13. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. So with that being said, for the month of October, we're focused on treasures in Christ. We read, write, pray, and reflect. Scripture, observation, application, and prayer is a soap study. And as we turn the page, we are in Alive, so we're number four, Alive in Christ by L-A-Y-N-I-E, cannot say that word, Travis, a five-day reading plan. Okay, and then this will take us to the 23rd, the 24th will be Faith in Christ by Bethany Church, Singapore, Singapore, four-day devotional. So let's go ahead and read. Hopefully this time I don't mess up, because I messed up quite a bit. And let's begin. Okay, so Ephesians 2.13. I have the NIV in front of me. Ephesians 2 and 13. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Let's say it again. But now in Christ Jesus, you who once were far away have been brought near by the blood of Christ. You know how crazy it is to think, like, the only person in this world that can save us. Why do I have a check mark for verse 13? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. But we're going to leave it. It has a little texture to it, I guess. A little look. Um, the only one that can save us is Jesus Christ. Because of what he'd been through, like... Going on the cross, dying for our sins. It is hard to fathom that nobody in this world would do that for you other than Jesus Christ. Who could you imagine getting on the cross, saving somebody, enduring all that pain? All that suffering to save us from our sins. There is no one I know, that's for sure. I mean, parents will say we'll die for our children. But will you? Will you go and do that on a cross? I mean, you'll move heaven and earth. People say in um, the worldly world, right? We move heaven and earth for our children. But we really don't. Okay, so I'm making sure I'm not in the wrong spot. Okay, now I'm back. Yeah, so... Yes, we do everything we can. We try to fight for our children. But we don't go on a cross and take the sins away. It's so, like, I don't know how to put it in words, but it's so, like, amazing how he did that for us. Like, he went on that cross. He took the pain. He got beat. It's just... It's just so mind-boggling. So I'm going to go ahead and set up tomorrow's. I don't know how anyone can do that. Like, that's why we have to be grateful and thankful. Like, we really do. He's saving us from our sins. Our sins. He didn't sin. We sinned. Until this day, we're still saying Galatians two seventeen. It's just crazy to believe. That's why I think I like uh, John three sixteen. We're gonna read that really quick because I like that one. Okay, it's Galatians two seventeen. Okay, let's go back to here. 
because this like really does show exactly. Okay, let's get to ten. Right here, I just highlighted it yesterday. So it's right here, John three sixteen. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world, He loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, Jesus Christ. That whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So God gave us his one and only son. So we shall not perish, but have eternal life. And all we have to do is what? Believe in him. That's all we have to do is believe in him. And there's so many people in this world that do not believe and they need to make it right before they go, you know, go to the Lord. But he gave his one and only son. Who do you know that would do that? Give your son to the world. And then at the end, he suffered. Like, he had pain and suffering. To me, that's like pain and suffering. That's, like, that's beyond pain. That's beyond suffering. But he did that for us. So he is a treasure in Christ. That is. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, share the video, that'd be greatly appreciated. As always, thank you, and I will talk to you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.